Okay, so today we'll talk about uh, communication protocols uh, that we use in uh, microcontrollers. Um, as you know, there are two types of uh, communication uh, uh, between devices. One is uh, serial communication and other one is uh, parallel communication. In serial communication, we transmit <clears throat> one bit at a time and um, in parallel communication, we transmit uh, data depending on how many lines we have. So in serial communication, we have a single line to transmit, right? And in parallel communication, you have multiple lines. Let's say if you have eight lines, so you can transmit eight bit at a time, right? So of course, uh, it's gonna be a little bit faster, but then you, you, need, you need eight lines. That means you, you will use um, more pins for uh, the, for communication purposes, so it might not be the best uh, way for our needs. So today we will talk about uh, serial communication, and um, when we say serial communication, uh, just a second. So serial communication. Sean, what we mean uh, communication here is between microcontrollers. It can be between microcontrollers. Um, it can be between microcontrollers or can be, uh, you know, microcontroller with, you know, sensors. Uh, it can be microcontroller with, you know, like a you know, control devices in, you know, motor drives and motor drives and stuff like that. So basically, uh, it can be between microcontrollers and any integrated circuit. Of course, if they have the necessary hardware for that integrated circuit. ICs, okay. So, uh, so we have multiple, uh, many different, like uh, many different uh, protocols. Uh, a lot of protocols or uh, you know standards for uh, serious communication. So we don't have to co we we don't have time to cover all of them, and it, you know, um, and also it might not be necessary. We will start with the simplest one uh, and maybe the oldest one. Um, and um and it's uh, still still common uh it's it's getting a little bit unpopular uh because of its speed and uh but it's still still popular and it's important to learn uh so let's talk about communication uh protocols or you know another name is standards okay so one is UART and another name for it RS232 and second one is uh, SPI stands for serial uh, peripheral peripheral uh, interface okay and the third one is um, I squared C so it stands for uh, integrated um, sorry um, not integrated it's inter integrated inter integrated circuit uh, circuit uh, control So, 
inter integrated circuit control. Um, so these are the three main type of uh, communications. Uh, parallel communications, it's uh, very common in uh, embedded systems. Um, each of them have their advantages and disadvantages. So we'll talk about them uh, one by one. And as we cover each, uh, each of them, each of them, we'll talk about what are those advantages and disadvantages for each of them. Um, okay, so let's talk about uh, UART then. So let's start with UART. Uh, UART is one of the oldest uh, and it's still common. Uh, but, um, you know, it's getting a little bit less common, uh, but it's important to learn. And uh, uh, it's still it's still being used uh, a lot. So so UART stands for universal. Universal asynchronous. Uh, receiver transmitter so so I squared uh, UART again stands for universal asynchronous uh, transmitter receiver so basically you know um, you art so you art um, so what does that mean what is uh, what is uh, universal mean what is asynchronous means and what is um, you know uh, like this let's try to talk about those um, univer universal uh, means uh, it's uh, it's programmable okay so it's universal means the, this communication protocol is programmable so what does that mean uh, so basically the parameters uh, uh, can be configured okay so parameters uh, like you know uh, number of uh, it's like the baud rate you know baud rate is about speed baud rate uh, so number of uh, stop bit number of uh, the parity bit uh, Sorry, the parity bit and um, like uh, things like that can be configured. Parameters can be configured. Okay. Um, so that's what it means. Again, uh, UART is a uh, programmable uh, and protocol and the communication channel pr parameters such as baud rate, number of stop bits, parity bits, etc., can be programmed uh, onto the chip. So you, you can uh, change change these things if you want. Uh, so let me clear uh, this one okay so this is a different color page I'm not sure why but um, so the, there are a few advantages uh, to UART communication uh, so like basically oh uh, I, I didn't talk about what is asynchronous stands for so it, it's called asynchronous because it does not have clock okay so in uh, like in I square C and uh, SPI, uh, you know, transmitter and receiver should have a common clock, and they should transmit the data uh, with you know like a, with the based on like a you know uh, 
based on that clock. So, so that's why it's synchronized. So that the time, like the transmission, has to be synchronized. But in UART, uh, there is no clock. Okay, so there's no clock at all, um, and that um, you know. Um, so in both, uh, I mean, we don't use clock in either side. Um, of course, uh, there's still clock involved uh, to measure um, the, 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 the length of the signal. Of course, that's how you figure out the transmission. But anyway, so there is no common clock uh, between transmitter and receiver. OK, um, so that's what asynchronous uh, means. So let's put it here as simple note. Um, it does not have clock. Okay. Okay. So that's uh, let's move on. Um, okay. So let's move on to next. Uh, we were talking about few you know advantages and disadvantages of UART. So first, UART is uh, first uh, simple hardware. Uh, so if you are trying to design something cheap with, with low cost and uh, that's what you what you can use it's a uh, requires simple hardware and another advantage is um, single wire for each direction so we wire uh, for each direction Single wire. Uh, basically, you don't. You just need uh, one line for transmitting data. Let's say from your PIC24, and you need another line for receiving the data, and and then finally you need you need a, a you know common ground of course for anything. You need always uh, always need a uh, common ground. So that's another uh, advantage. So you have less uh, wire, uh, and. But this advantage is, uh, you know, uh, less common. Um, so, you know, like let's call it disadvantage. I mean, uh, there are other disadvantages. We'll talk about them. But uh, so, it's uh, less common nowadays. I mean, that doesn't mean it's not important and we shouldn't learn about that. It still can be used in many applications, especially in low cost applications. And uh, so there are uh, some other standards uh, like, you know, uh, if it is chip to chip, it's I squared C SPI. And in PCs we have in PCs, we have uh, USB, right? Very popular, everybody knows. And then we have Ethernet, very, very common. And, and then for chip to chip, uh, it's we have I squared C and SPI, like I mentioned above. Okay. Um, so again, uh, it's getting less and less common, but uh, the, it's not, it's going to stay around for a very, very long time. Long, long time because because of its advantages again simple hardware single wire uh, and easy to, easy to deal with so so let me draw a UART transmission diagram okay so we have uh, device one and let's say this is uh, device two. Okay, so we have uh, we will have three lines. So one is this, other one is that, and uh, finally we have uh, this one. So this is um, RX receiver. RX stands for receiver, and TX is transmitter. 
So if this is receiver, then uh, this is gonna be transmitter, right? So like basically if two device communicating back and forth, and this is gonna be RX. And then we have ground. Uh, yeah. Ground. So that's the uh, basically UART is one of the uh, another disadvantages is basically uh, UART is point to point. So it's only works between two devices. So it's uh, that's why it's not scalable. So we cannot just replicate it and communicate uh, between many devices okay so it's just a one-to-one -one, one device to another one so you cannot add another device um, here that that's not gonna work uh, for that we have to um, learn SPI and I square C which uh, which you can have you know uh, multiple uh, devices communicating with each other okay we will talk about that later Again, UART is um, basically point to point from like between two devices, and it's not scalable, so you cannot have more than two devices uh, communicating uh, each other with UART. So you can have you have to have separate um, um, settings for for them. That's all. I um, so let's move to next part. So I explain how the how UART works.